In today's video, I'm going to be talking about DV's Theme Builder 4.0. I'll be discussing five things that you probably didn't know about DV's Theme Builder coming up. Hello everyone, my name is Mac and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the theme builder and a few things that you may find uh, quite interesting or things that you may have not noticed about this theme builder. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you will get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do is to buy it using my affiliate link Head over to funnels to income.com. On the bottom right, there's a chat bubble. Just send me your receipt number and I will give you access to the course once I've verified your purchase. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is Divi itself. So Divi comes in two flavors, okay? So first of all, you have the Divi theme, which has the builder itself inside the theme. And it also ships with a Divi Builder plugin. Now, the reason why these two are separated is because the Divi Builder plugin can work with any theme out there. For example, Astra theme, all you have to do is install Astra and then the Divi Builder plugin in and that will have the builder inside it. So I bet what you didn't know is the Divi plugin also has a theme builder inside it. So you can actually design your themes inside that Divi Builder plugin even though you're not using the DV theme itself. I know it sounds a bit confusing, but the main difference is the DV theme here is the theme itself and the page builder. And over here, it's just the page builder without the theme. So you can use external themes to design your websites with DV. All right, so let's move on to the next thing. And over here, we are in the theme builder itself. This is the main interface. So the first or the second tip is, or the second thing that you didn't know about DV is probably that you can export each individual template. So let's say I had a template over here. I could actually export this individual template. Now let me show you what that looks like over here. So if you hover over this area here and click on portability, you actually export that particular template. So if you have several templates over here, you can export these one by one. And when you import them, they're also imported one by one. Okay, so let's move on to the next tip. And the next tip is if you are designing your page and then you click on this eye icon, this actually disables that whole part of your website. So let's take a look here and see what that looks like. So you can see here, I have this page and pretty much this is our services page. It's using our template here, which is the global template. So if we come over here and click on this eye icon and save changes, basically what happens is it's going to disable that whole content body. So let's come over here and take a look at that. So if I refresh this page now, you can see all that is gone. And that is mainly because I have disabled it here. So you may be thinking, what's the point of creating a template and then disabling it on there? Now, if you really think about it, this could work in situations where you want to disable the template on uh, or this particular part of your builder on specific templates. So it could be maybe the header and you want to create uh, perhaps a page which doesn't have a header and footer. And this could be your sales pages. You can just come over here, disable the header, disable the footer, and boom, you're done for those landing pages. So this is the actual app application of this. All right, so let's move on to tip number three. And tip number three is you can actually design specific templates for specific pages. So if I come over here to create a new template, you notice that here we have this option which says specific pages. So if I go to say, for example, maybe the home page, I can design a template that only applies to the home page. And this is really powerful because I can then distinguish what our pages look like as we're designing our website throughout our design process. So this is really, really cool. Okay, so let's move on to tip number four. And tip number four is our page builder gets loaded up with pages or templates of those pages when a plugin has been installed. 
So what does that mean? So you can see here I have WooCommerce installed. So now if I come over here to uh, add a new template, when I start scrolling down here, I start to see the WooCommerce options. And you can see here, I can create a custom shop template. I can design a cart template, check out and so on. Now let's see what happens if I come over here and disable this. So I'm gonna go to my plugins, click on installed plugins. I'll just click on leave here. So what I'm gonna do is on these installed plugins, I'm going to go ahead and disable the um, WooCommerce. So here I'm gonna click on deactivate, there we go. Now, if I come back over here to my theme builder, you're going to notice that all the options for WooCommerce will not be there for us to create our template. So I'm just gonna hit restore here. Right, so now if let's say I need to create a new template, if I scroll all the way down here, you notice that all the WooCommerce stuff is gone. Now, this does not only apply for WooCommerce, by the way, this also works with LearnDash and any other plugins out there. So this will automatically pick it up and add it on to the list of templates that you can create using the theme builder. So this is really, really, really powerful. Number five, and number five is when you export your templates here, you can actually choose to export all the templates in one go, or if you have a few templates in here, you can go and specify which templates you want to export. So this is really cool if you want to share your designs with uh, other designers or you want to uh, save them for use in the future on your own designs. So this is a really powerful feature because if the only option is to export everything, maybe in some cases you may not want to do that. So this option here is really, really good. So pretty much that's all I have in the DV theme builder, things that you may not know about the theme builder. So let me know if you guys have have anything that you've uh, come across that you may want to share about Divi's theme builder by adding it in the video comments below. Uh, that way we can all share the power of the theme builder. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.